I'm Bria. Welcome to my channel. And I read 86 books this year, and I'm going to tell you which ones you should read really quickly. Nothing too long. <laughs> I'm just going to look at my good reads from here and let you know. So Bunny by Mona Awad. No, I hated it. Wrecked by Lauren Asher. No, I hated it. It was very corny. <laughs> Honestly, we started off the year terribly. It ends with us by Colleen Hoover. No, I don't need to explain. Addicted to You by Krista and Becca Ritchie. Yes, but I feel like only if you know that it's going to get better and only if like someone recommended this to you. Like I know that people said if you liked Magnolia Parks, then I would probably like this too. So it's like, okay, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read this. Before We Were Strangers by Renee Carlino. Yes, 100% yes, 1000% yes. Please read that book. It's one of my favorite books of all time. I sat down for four hours and just read it straight and I cried so much. <laughs> the Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath. Um, yes, for the literature. <laughs> Redeemed by Lauren Asher. Yeah, this one was better than Wrecked. It's from the same series and it did redeem itself. Swear on This Life by Renee Carlino. Um, it wasn't as good as before we were strangers and the thing is I feel like I was chasing that high but no it wasn't as good uh it was still it was still good though it starts with us by Colleen Hoover no when in Rome by Sarah Adams yes happy hour by Marlo Granados yes I love this book a lot it's like it was like reading someone's diary who lives in New York and it was really fun one true loves by Taylor Jenkins Reid yes this one's kind of a basic love story, but there were lots of good life lessons and it was very wholesome. Culty by Mariana Zapata. Zapata. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, if I butcher any of the names, I'm sorry. Um, but Culty, yes, if you like slow burns, it's a very, very slow, slow, slow burn. I loved that. Final Offer by Lauren Asher. Um, if you read the other ones, yes. But... I feel like you don't need to go out of your way to read this. Flowers on the Moon by Billy Chapata. Um, it was okay. It's a book of poems. If you like Milk and Honey, you would probably like this. But yeah, it was okay. Sometimes I Lie by Alice Feeney. No. Forever Never by Lucy Score. No. Well, <laughs> if you like Lucy Score, sure, but no. I remember this started out good, and I was telling my friend about it, and I was like, Oh, yeah, I really like it so far. And then literally it went downhill after that. Magnolia Parks by Jessa Hastings. Yes, but remember that it's not, well, I wouldn't think of it as a romance. I would more think of it as like Gossip Girl. Like it's just drama about rich people. If you think about it like that, then it's very entertaining. And again, this is purely for entertainment for me anyway. <laughs> Daisy Hates, yes, if you've read the first one. If you haven't read Magnolia Parks, then no. How to Fall Out of Love Madly by Yana Castle, yes. Ghosted by J.M. Dower, it was, I think I remember liking this book, but I really don't remember anything about it, which is a bad sign to me. <laughs> the Long Way Home, Magnolia Parks. 10 out of 10. Again, obviously, if you haven't read the others, it wouldn't really make a lot of sense, but this is actually my favorite in the series. 10 out of 10. The Great Undoing of Daisy Hates. This was mostly about Julian Hates, and that's why I love it, because Julian Hates is my favorite character. Mile High by Liz Tom Ford. No, that's the worst book ever. Literally one of the worst books I've ever read. Things We Never Got Over by Lucy Score. Yeah, I remember liking it. I remember liking it. The Wall of Winnipeg and Me by Mariana Spada. Again, very good. If you don't like slow burn, no, but very good if you like slow burn. Things We Hide from the Light by Lucy Score, which is the second in the series for things we never got over or whatever. And this was literally the same as the first book with different people. It was terrible. The Right Move by Liv's Tom Ford. Now, this is different. This is the second one for Mile High. In the same series and this one was so much better than the first one i literally hated the first one so much but the right move good yes flawless by elsie silver yeah it was okay if he had been with me no 
I literally hate this book so much, but also I realized that I don't really like young adult books because I don't like, you know, some people don't like kids in books. I don't like teenagers in books. They're very insufferable. Evidence of a Love Affair by Taylor Jenkins Reid. This is like 87 pages or something. I loved it so much. I remember I just read that because I was bored and it was so good. And I was like, wow. The Locked Door by Frieda McFadden. Yes. Mine would be you. Yes, but I don't really remember what went on. <laughs> King of Wrath by Anna Huang. I don't remember. <laughs> I'm looking at the page where it doesn't show my ratings, so I can't remember if I like this or not, but clearly a lot of these are not memorable. Heartless by Elsie Silver. This is actually the one out of the entire series that I really love. I recommend this one. Honestly, skip the first one because you don't need to read it. Skip the first one, read that one. Cleopatra and Frankenstein by Coco Mellers. Yes, love Cleo, hate Frank, although they're all kind of bad people. King of Pride. No, terrible. Indigo Ridge, yes, I remember liking this one. Juniper Hill, I remember thinking this one was boring. The Mindfuck series, yes, it was very insane, but at the same time, I remember the ending feeling a little bit underwhelming or like it felt kind of rushed. You'll come back to yourself. I don't remember what this is. Meet Me at the Lake by Carly Fortune, no. <laughs> It Happened One Summer by Tessa Bailey. Yes, in the summer I like to read really light and fun books and this was a great first one. Um, Yours Truly by Abby Jimenez. Yes. Beach Read by Emily Henry. 100% yes. Everything, well, most by Emily Henry. <laughs> Happy Place by Emily Henry. Yes, 100% yes. The Love Wager by Lynn Painter. Kind... Mm. No, no, I just remembered. No, it wasn't good. The Days of Abandonment by Elena Ferrante. Yes. Mary Jane by Jessica Anya Blau. Um, Our Scorching Summer, Kells and Denise Stone. No, I hate this book so much. This, I know I said this about the last one that I hated. No, but this, this is actually the worst book I ever read. There was this part where he said something and I was like, do you even like this woman? Like, what? I hate that. Zero out of five. Done and Dusted by Lila Sage. Yes, I like it. It was fun. Powerless by Elsie Silver. Yeah. Yeah. Reckless by Elsie Silver. Yeah. I feel like these are, in, are obviously in a series, right? And I think if you're, you started the series and you liked it, then continue it. But if you started it and you didn't like it, then don't. Someone Who Will Love You in All of Your Damaged Glory. So this was a book of short stories and I loved some of them and I absolutely hated some of them. So it's hard to say, but kind of. <laughs> the Summer I Turned Pretty. No, everyone was insufferable. I liked the show, but no. This, I hated everyone. The only person I liked was Susanna. I don't know how anyone is Team Conrad, Team Jeremiah. They're all terrible. <laughs> team Belly. No, I hate them all. You made a fool of death with your beauty. Yes. <laughs> yes. The Bodyguard by Catherine Center. Yes. Very wholesome. The Inheritance Games by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. I literally said earlier that I hate teenagers in books, but this is the exception. I really liked this book, actually. Yes, it was very entertaining. A Certain Hunger by Chelsea G. Summers. If you have a strong stomach, yes. <laughs> we Do What We Do in the Dark by Michelle Hart, yes. Simple Passion by Annie Ernois, yes. My Dark Vanessa, yes. Caught Up by Liz Tomfort, yes, actually. It was entertaining. Night Shift, no. Happening, yes. The Guest by Emma Klein, this was... <laughs> A book club pick and I just remember like everyone at my table was like they didn't love it but they didn't exactly hate it but they definitely didn't love it and we were just all like eh but so for me it's it's a no <laughs> king of greed yes again when it's in a series I feel like if you've started it and you liked the others 
definitely go for it, but this is nothing to go out of your way to read. Hopeless by Elsie Silver, same thing, series. Life of the Party by Olivia Gatwood, yes. Things We Left Behind. A lot of people didn't like this one from the series, but this is my favorite one, actually. <laughs> this is the one that I was most entertained. I don't know. Days at the Murasaki Bookshop, 100% yes. I love that book. The Woman in Me by Britney Spears. I listened to the audiobook. Yes, it was really good. Just Kids by Patti Smith. I remember I tried to read this like two years ago. And I just I just couldn't get through it for some reason. But this year, I read it. It was amazing. Yes. Pizza Girl. Yes. <laughs> Weird, but yes. And then I went on a binge and I was like reading the Addicted Callaway series. So I have Ricochet, Addicted for Now, Kiss the Sky, and Hot House Flower. And again, if you're in the series, yes for all of them but my favorites was hot house flower <laughs> ripe meadows reminds me of julian hates and that's why i like him so much so that one was my favorite also kiss the sky yeah kiss the sky is my favorite too i feel like this is an unpopular opinion but lily and lower are actually my least favorite of them all but the whole thing is like mostly surrounded by them so anyway, <laughs> um, The Possession by Annie Ernois, yes. <laughs> and currently I'm reading, one sec. What You Are Looking For is in the Library. I'm currently reading this and it's taken me a long time because they're kind of like short stories and I like some of them and I don't like some of them and then it's also kind of repetitive. I, I'm not finished, I'm almost finished. But I think this is going to be a maybe. <laughs> um, I'm also reading, I'm currently reading Eileen too. And the way that this is going so far, it's a yes. So anyway, those are the 86 books that I read this year. And I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like. And also please subscribe. I have no idea where this channel is going, but we can find out together. <laughs> Bye!